Hey everyone, Matt Montanez here, and today I'm bringing you an ear candy video. I had a few friends ask me, yo, how'd you get that effect on those background vocals? A couple other engineers asked, so I showed them, I was like, might as well just do a video and put it out there for everybody to check out this cool ear candy effect I did. It's a very dope record, it's called T-Pain by Chizzy Stevens, produced by Chizzy and Beham, and also written by them with Shay Jacobs and myself. A very dope record, it's one of my favorites, probably because it was my favorite session I've ever been in, it was just, it was just super fun you know a couple of buddies uh, hanging out making music eating good food and it was just great vibes all around I really love the session I'm gonna just uh, go through it real quick uh, I'm not really breaking down the session I'm not doing anything really in depth I'm just gonna show so a couple of the effects I did the main uh, one I'm talking about is the effects here on the ad-libs that's the one that I keep getting asked about and it's, it's not too hard to do so I'm gonna show that and if you want to hear the full final mix of this I'll put a link in the description below I'm gonna just play from the top of the verse here and then uh, you'll hear the effect when it hits this I'm a fan man I wish I had a couple of more fans cuz I'm caught up in the way you do your dance I was leaving but and that effect is right here so I'm gonna solo that now so you can hear it And then here it is again. So that's the effect. Like I said, a bunch of people asked me how I got that one. And then of course, you know, I got the auto tune going. So it was all the way maxed out at zero, hard effects, normal. I didn't even select choosy. I just left it regular. And to really get this auto tune effect to sit right. Man, I wish I had a couple of more bands. Like, yeah, you can just slap auto-tune on afterwards or whatever, but you really want to record with the auto-tune on so you can hear the effect on where you want it. So that was the first thing we did. That's that ear candy on the lead vocal is we recorded with the auto-tune on, put the settings how we had it. We did a bunch of takes. Like you can tell um, we have the comped here. That's why it's the different colors. We comped it and that was to get the effect where we wanted it at. So um, it wasn't overbearing. It was just the right amount of taste for us, at least for the record, how we wanted it to be. Cause I'm caught up in the way you do your dance. Same over here on the chorus section. Song you, now I'm falling for you. Just one song, one song you. And it's kind of cool because usually I deal with choruses with a lot of layers, but this one is only really just the lead vocal. Now let's dig into this. So now let's dig into this section here, the ad-libs, which is the main effect that I want to display. We started off with auto-tune, of course, and it's the same settings as the lead vocal. Let's see, So here's my lead on the left, and then here's my ad-lib on the right, E minor, and then it's at 100 or zero, the fastest you can get. So it's the same settings, just to get that auto-tune effect. And then I went with the SSL channel, uh, the Waves one. And as you can see, I rolled off about 140, rolled off some high end. I didn't do anything else except pull out some highs, and that's a shelf, but everything else is plain. And I only pulled up those highs just so it sits a little more in the back versus staying up near the lead. It just falls behind the lead now. And then I add a little compression as you can see, the compression is nothing special, and then I just brought down the input because it was too loud. You can see I'm touching six, so it's a pretty tight compression. I went into this bad boy here, and for this, it's my own little preset right here. Um, you guys can snag it or whatever. It's really just turning a mono vocal into a stereo, so as soon as I bypass this, you'll hear it. It's all going to go center. And then once I unbypass it, you'll hear it in the left and right ear. So that's mine right there. It's a very cool setting. And that's what I did to make everything wide because we did not layer this vocal. And that was the thing. It was just one take and that's all I had. So I was like, I want it on the left and right ear. So I throw in the stock delay plugin and then I just put in my settings. Then I went with this bad boy here. This is actually a little secret plugin I learned from Chizzy. He used to throw it on a lot of stuff and I ended up just remembering it. And then he always asked me, hey, throw on that Tambo man. And I know exactly what he's talking about. Pretty much just the CLA unplugged and you go and load and there's one called Tambo man and And all it really is is just a quick EQ. I'm pretty sure there's shelves. I've never really dug more deeper into this, but you got a compressor, which I'm pretty sure it's parallel compression. It goes with spank and then uh, you get two reverbs. So these two reverbs are different sizes and that's the trick to it in getting that reverb sound. We didn't use any of the delay here. 
and we left it on direct because we have it directly on the insert itself that channel and then to top off the entire effect i used the air flanger and it was very light actually only five percent um i kept it in sync and i went with that eight by four um eight fourths the pre-delay was kind of just set like that and it just really worked so and it gives you that that whole effect that flanger effect that is just going so fast that it just gives you that swirl kind of smeary sound or something and it's really cool you know it's like electronic closer to that vocoder i guess you can say and then you know that's just how you got your effect there so And then like right here for these, um, I did the same exact settings. It's the same exact thing as you can tell. I just really copied and pasted and just boosted these 0.5 more. Big whoopee, right? But um, they're actually just doing different, different kind of patterns. And then for the other one was. And then when they're together, And it just really works. A lot of this, not really these two plugins or these plugins here at the end, but it's the uh, auto tune. You want to record with that on so he can hear or your artist can hear what they're doing while they're recording. But these ones I added on afterwards. After we got the vocal takes, um, me and Chizzy sat down and was kind of thinking like what kind of effects to do. And then we ended up settling with using Tambo Man, of course. We decided to go with the flanger at the end of it. And then I just wanted it wide. So I ended up making it real wide the stereo way. It's very cool, so it works really well in the song. And if you listen closely, this is the third part of ear candy here, at least in this video, is I have a, a delay trigger coming in, or I triggered a delay to come in. So it comes in here on that first line. I didn't let it come in on the second part, and then it comes in on that third line again. I think I went lighter on that second one and all that was is it's an H delay and that's just literally the H delay as you can see I went with the ping pong mode and I usually when I went with this I always started off with the rap vocals the rap vocals preset that was my favorite preset and then I made the adjustments like I added more output pulled off the analog slap ping pong on because I don't think ping pong's on it so I went here special effects Effects now classics right here so it's a modulation rap vocals and as you can see they have analog on and there's just some stuff they have this uh the face switch on just the left ear and i didn't want that so i switched it up a little bit and then from there i added um this crazy roll off right and that just makes it an ambient sound versus it actually the full delay so this would be without this now you hear it and then now it's just an ambient sound so it's just like more of like a whisper like it's an ambient and then i didn't use the distortion i just had it here more for like a lo-fi sound i like going with this air distortion versus just clicking lo-fi here to me it just gives it more of a crispiness when you need it these are my default settings for something else uh, usually when i throw on insert this is what my default setting distort me please is what i called it though like i said those are my default settings but um on my aux i boosted up a little bit more and then i send it 
or I'll bring down the mix depending on how I want it. But usually I go with something like this that I liked. And then of course I sent it to some of that beautiful R verb here, which is just going to the Tennessee theater and then I make my adjustments. So it's my reverse reverb settings. I started off with that Tennessee theater though, because to me that's like the best sounding preset for this plugin. And then I just change up exactly what I wanted from there. And I went with the reverse. It sounds incredible. So let me play those ear candy spots again. First, I'll play this lead vocal here. You'll hear it. You'll hear the ear candy here. I actually can just start from here. <laughs> and then you'll hear those delays. So. Spent this cash on you. Now I'm falling for you. Just one song won't do. Now I know what T pay for like. All in your birthday so Now I'm falling for you. Just one song won't do. Need your name. Not the one that you be using. Up on stage, you a pro like you learned that in the A. Girl, that body is what I want to entertain. Very, very dope. And then we changed it a little bit up on the bridge here. It wasn't much. Um, we we're trying to do a couple of different things, but um, not really a lot. And I added this EQ. I'm just going to explain it now since I'm already in this record. I added this EQ because he actually retracted a certain take. I mean, it was, um, oops. I think it was actually this end right here, this half. He actually retracted at his studio after we already did the initial recording and everything, and it just needed to match. So. Okay, so it was acrobat. That was like he recut. So if I don't have that EQ come in. I would just solo it so you can hear. Yeah, shot Going up and down, I pull just like an acrobat. Losing my mind when you. So, acrobat. So, without that EQ, it has so much of these low mids. It was just awful. So, I had to pull those out just 4 dB, but still, it makes it. Yeah, shot Going up and down, I pull just like an acrobat. Losing my mind when you make that clap. Spin and just smooth. Acrobat, make that clap was just much smoother. So, I'll play it and then I'll toggle it on and off. Yeah, shot Going up and down, I pull just like an acrobat. Losing my mind when you make that clap. And then here's without it. Yeah, shot it. Going up and down, I pull just like an acrobat. Losing my mind when you make that clap. Spin them. So acrobat's just a little too much. That's why I have it automated in that section. Yeah, so that was a bonus because I didn't mean to show you that. I just wanted to show you the ear candy stuff. But yeah, that's the ear candy pretty much. Auto tune um, with if you want to make it wide, you don't have to. That's just what I did. Um, you can use any plugin too. You can use a doubler. You can use a width plugin. It doesn't matter. I just use this because it was the first one in my reach at the time. Um, you want to slam in that unplugged and then you want to use the flanger. Um, flanger, 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 whatever it's called, right? Um, but yeah, you want to use this guy and it's just very light. Like you can see, it's only 2%. Or was it 5%? Okay, so the top one's 5% and the bottom's 2%. So I actually went lighter on those ones that he actually used less notes. But that's how light it is, and you can actually hear the difference um, if I bypass that. So yeah, so that's it, everybody. I hope this video helps. Just some sweet ear candy that you can use in your sessions. Um, if you want to see more ear candy videos, of course, drop me a comment below. Any mixes I've done, or if you want me to teach you how to do something that you heard on another record, I can definitely figure it out and do that for you to teach you how to do it. Just drop me a comment, send me an email, hit me up on Instagram, whatever. I always respond to everybody as quick as I can, as efficiently as I can, <laughs> just to the best of my knowledge anyways. As always, everyone, keep creating music. Take care. I'm a fan. Man, I wish I had a couple of more bands. Cause I'm caught up in the way you do your dance I was leaving but I'm making some new plans